Hey there, future healthcare heroes. Today, we're hitting the books for a deep dive on K-Exalate. This stuff is like a superhero when it comes to tackling high levels of potassium in your blood, a nasty situation known as hyperkalemia. So how does K-Exalate do its thing? Well, it's kind of like a magnet in your gut. It's made of this stuff called sodium polystyrene sulfonate, and it's a champ at swapping out sodium for potassium. This happens in the cells lining your intestines. So basically, K-Exalate rolls up to the party, swaps its sodium for the extra potassium, and then takes that potassium on a one-way trip out of your body through your poop. Now, how do we get this K-Exalate into your system? There are a couple of ways. You can take it orally, which is the preferred method, or it can be administered rectally if necessary. The dosage you need depends on how you're taking it and what your potassium levels are. For the oral route, you're looking at 15 to 30 grams once, and you can do this up to four times a day if needed. But don't exceed 60 grams in a day. If you're going the rectal route, you're looking at 30 to 50 grams every two to six hours based on your potassium levels. Now, how fast does K-Exalate start working? You're looking at a few hours before it gets to work. Once it starts, it keeps working for about four to six hours. So it's not an instant fix, but it's definitely doing its job. As with any medication, there are potential side effects. With K-Exalate, you might experience nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, abdominal cramps, and constipation. And like any other drug, some folks shouldn't take it. If you're allergic to sodium polystyrene sulfonate or any other part of K-Exalate, it's a no-go. Also, if you already have low potassium levels, or if you have obstructive bowel disease, you should steer clear. And that's the lowdown on K-Exalate. Remember, it's always important to use medications as directed and consult with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep learning and stay healthy.